In SketchUp, Protector is very useful feature for creating guidelines and measuring angles. Tape Measure tool is also a great way for creating guidelines. In this video, we will discuss both ways. First activate the Protector tool, go to Tools and activate Protector. You can see it's attached with cursor and align with different faces as I move cursor. You can also use arrow keys, left, right and up arrow keys for alignment, left, right and up. Over here I would like to choose green axis, so press the left arrow. Same like uh, rotate tool, protector is also three click and release process and I would like to Create a guideline at 30 degree angle. Choose the first point. First point, click and release. And the second point will choose the start of angle. You can choose upward or this side or downward. So click and release. And now as I move cursor, you can see the guideline appeared. And we can check the angle in the lower right corner you can see here is 20.1 25.1 30 degree in the lower right corner you can see and we can also simply type the angle in the lower right corner i would like to enter 30 degree and press enter again repeat the process this time i would like to draw a guideline at 90 degree Protector tool is already activated, so just simply align with face and choose the first point and the second point. And now you can move the cursor. Here is 90 degree. You can check angle in the lower right corner. And I would like to create guideline at 90 degrees, so I will simply type 90 and press enter. I want to create another guideline, however I would activate the protector tool again. Choose the first point, second point, start the angle. And here I would like to draw guideline at 20 degree simply type 20 and press enter now i would like to create guidelines by tape measure tool simply type t or you can activate the tape measure tool by this icon here click and release to create guideline by tape measure tool Click and release on the edge, click and release and move the cursor in the direction you want to create a guideline. Click and release. So we have a guideline. Again repeat the process, click on edge and move the cursor in the direction you want to create a guideline. Suppose I want a guideline at 4 feet from this line from this guideline so simply activate the tape measure tool type t click on edge and move the cursor now you can simply type four feet you can see in the lower right corner four feet and press enter Suppose you want some type of opening on this surface or on this wall. So first we have to activate the tape measure tool, type T and start creating guidelines. We have first guideline. So we can also enter some dimension. I would like to enter 4 feet. Another guideline, 3 feet. 4 feet, 
you can see in the lower right corner forfeit and press enter now choose the rectangle tool by this icon or simply type r choose the first point and the end point click and release over here we want opening so i want to cut this rectangle shape first activate the push pull tool from this icon or simply type p the tool is activated and now simply click and release on this surface and start to push backward and meets up with the back face in fact in sketchup if two faces meet they disappeared and now simply click and release we can also create another some type of opening over here simply activate the rectangle tool first point second point and now activate the push pull tool click and release and push backward and meets up with the back face and again click and release and now we have two openings using this method you can create multiple openings opening for doors windows or any other type of opening we can also hide guidelines simply go to view and uncheck guides again go back to view and check the guides now again visible you can see guidelines and if you want to delete guidelines simply go to edit and delete guides 